All right, today we're going to see how to extend the background of images in PhotoP. So the first thing I need to do is to reduce the size of this image since this image is quite big, it's 3000 pixels. And this filter works only on small images or areas, for example, around the 1000 pixels. So now just go to image and then image size. And now as you can see, chain icon here is linked. I'm just going to divide the width and the height by four. So I'm just going to type the backslash and then four, and then just click OK. So here it is, size has been reduced, and I'm going to select the zoom tool. Left click to zoom in. I'm going to select the hand. So here, just place the image on the center of the Canva. And now I'm going to reduce the size of this layer here. So I'm just going to duplicate it first. Right click, then duplicate layer. So we can see before and after. And now I'm going to hide it the bottom one, select the top one, and now I'm going to scale it down, select the move tool, and then select the transform controls here. And now I'm just going to reduce the size of the image, and now I'm just going to paste it in the center, so here it is. And now in order for this filter to work, I need to select the transparent area. So now I'm just going to select the magic wand, left click, now left click on the transparent area and now as you can see it has been selected and now go here to the spot healing and then select the magic replace left click and now i'm just going to type what i want to generate so now i'm just going to type background so here it is and now just click on replace so here i will need to either buy a monthly subscription or just watch two short ads so i'm just going to watch the ads Going to press OK. So now, as you can see, I didn't get a good result. So I'm just going to do it again. So I'm just going to left click, magic replace. And now I'm just going to click on replace again. So here it is. Now I think this result is better than the previous one. So I'm just going to go to select and then deselect. So here it is. And now, as you can see, I have, for example, if I select the zoom tool, Left click, so the transparent area here of the selection where, where I did the selection, I'm going to select the hand tool to move, so here it is. Now in order to fix this one, I'm going to select the zoom tool, left click fit the area, left click here, and then select the spot healing brush tool. This filter here will use the background color, so for example, I'm going to change it to red to be more visible, press OK. And here you will be able to change the size of the brush, so I think here, this brush is okay. I'm going to a little bit reduce the hardness. So here, and now I'm just going to paint here on the area. So let's see, for example, here. So here it is, I'm going to reduce the size. It's too much here. Just want to affect the line here. Now I'm just going to add this one here. So here it is, just going to fix this one. So now let's see the before and after. I'm going to select the zoom tool, right click, zoom out. And now here's the before and here's the after. So if you can see the result is quite good. Then you can still, for example, just select the magic replace. And then for example, here, I'm just going to replace this part here and click on replace. So here it is, and I'm going to select, deselect. So here, I think it's okay here. So if I select the zoom tool, left click. So the result is much better. So here it is, zoom out, and zoom out again. So here it is, that's how you can extend the background of images in PhotoP. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and uh, till next time.